Hello, Mr. Hayward. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine, you know. Uh, I guess you want to know a little bit about me, eh? Yes, I, yes, I do. Okay. I'm very interested. Well, let me start by telling you that I was born in Washington, D.C. And, and, uh, and a long time ago, in 1951, and uh, grew up in, uh, in New Kensington, Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, a little north of Pittsburgh. Uh, and uh, there I received my formal education, attended public school, and had a wonderful experience uh, in public school. Had a diverse community in which I lived and uh, got interested in music uh, from my family and acting and uh, became a song and dance man. And mm -hmm. Graduated from high school didn't go to college right out of high school, but I decided that I wanted to play rhythm and blues, rock and roll, to give me some kind of respite from doing classical music and sacred music. So I began my college career at the age of 25, attending a school in upstate New York, Nyack College, and uh, then transferred from Nyack to St. Andrews Presbyterian College in Laurenburg, North Carolina, where I majored in theater and minored in psychology. And eventually I became more closely associated with Mercer County Community College, becoming an adjunct and in a love relationship with my students and with my profession of teaching speech, human communication, and public speaking, as well as a few other communication courses. I hope, Jiggy, that gives you some idea of uh, the breadth of my life thus far. I've not sat down to really kick it like that. <laughs> nice so, I like. uh, hope I've it's not left anything out. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it here at Mercer County Community College, namely because of the open enrollment uh, that it uh, has, in that students don't have to take SATs. Uh, they can come in uh, to the college and broaden their uh, awareness of information and of themselves. Uh, knowledge of themselves. Uh, I also really enjoy the fact that we have a rather international community so one can go on a trip without packing your bags, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and the students are just just wonderful. Um, I in fact see my students far more than I do my own family, so <laughs> I consider my students to be my extended family. So, yeah. That's good. And uh, how long have you been here? And I've been here for over 18 years uh, now. Wow, yeah. that's a long time. Long time. Long time. This is perhaps the longest run I've had in my professional career. I do see this as a two-way two street. Um, I'm half, and my glass is half empty, and I see my students as having glasses that are half empty as well, so we can co-create and fill those glasses, you know. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, can you talk about your favorite hobbies now? Oh yeah, favorite my hobbies favorite hobbies. I have a, I still love music. I uh, definitely enjoy uh, cinema. I love films. Yes. I, uh, <laughs> Also, I'm falling deeper in love with this technology. I have an iPad, so I find myself learning from you about this electronic world, the digital world, if you will. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I enjoy nature. Uh, I definitely good. enjoy my wife, not that she's a hobby, but uh, <laughs> I enjoy you know, sharing life with her. And my family, I'm very close to my brother and my sister. And my nieces and my grandchildren, Ugh. yeah. So yeah, man. You know, and I, I enjoy walking in nature. I enjoy running. I enjoy yoga, and meditation. So I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of hobbies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, have you been anywhere outside of the United States? Yeah, yeah. I went to Egypt in I think eighty six. 1986, went to Kenya the same year as a member of a, a group who came from, you know, went from the United States uh, as guests of the World Council of Churches. Um, and that was a really profound experience because I had read about those countries 
in books. Being a, a child of the Garveyite movement, Marcus Misraya Garvey, uh, and uh, when I went to Africa and Kenya, it was a real eye-opener. No, I've not been to India yet. I am looking forward to going. Uh, uh, my wife and I are planning, as we speak, to go there. <laughs> I think we're going to look at uh, 2013 as a time to go. Uh, That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be hip. And, uh, I'm deeply into yoga, so, so I would uh, like to go to the land where, you know, yoga is practiced. And where do you plan on going? Yeah, well, uh, Rishikesh is where I want to go. Uh, uh, hopefully do a sabbatical there. I'd also like to go to Bangalore, mm -hmm. southern uh, uh, India. And uh, also look at just other areas in India. I want to go into the, uh, uh, the mountain range there to visit some of the monasteries, uh, some of the ashrams. Uh, yeah, that's... Let's see. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to go to Delhi. See what Delhi is about. Delhi, yeah. Is there anything you want to say about life in general? What I would like to say, if anything, is that uh, life is supposed to be fun. And mm -hmm. I've made a conscious effort uh, and decision that I'm going to be happy no matter what. And uh, I trust that those who see this little snippet of me at least have some appreciation for how it is that I appreciate myself and life, my neighbor. Thank you. So, thank you. You too. Peace.